Challenges in the city's push to find permanent housing for the homeless. Parker Boyd finds out what's causing the delays and what's being done to solve this issue. Kimbo King calls the I-10 overpass on North Claiborne Avenue his home, along with many others. Concentration camp for me. King says he moved to New Orleans from Florida a year and a half ago for better opportunities. I'm not having a living like this. I came to New Orleans and start over, so this is how I start over. He says no one has tried to help him. That's why he took a job as an oyster shucker to help himself. 44 years old, I go to work. Been working all my life. Cynthia Lejean says she gives food to the homeless here on North Claiborne all the time. She says the encampment sicken her. They need help just like we need help. And we can help ourselves, but a lot of people, they, they're not capable of doing that. Every night that someone is not in their own home is a tragedy. Last month, the city cleared a homeless encampment on Chapatula's and Calliope Street. At the time, they were able to find temporary housing for many of those people. Valerie Coffin of Unity Greater New Orleans says she's working with the city to house more homeless who live in the community. Coffin says the process is slow because there is difficulty finding proper living spaces for them. We always need more resources to be able to um, have apartments that um, meet guidelines regarding being habitable. Coffin says at least 31 people are in search of housing on the Claiborne Corridor. She says Unity has assisted 22 people in other encampments across the city, with two being housed this week. Coffin makes a promise to house at least 400 people in Orleans and Jefferson parishes over the next three years. You are confident that you will be able to reach that goal? Yes, we, it takes um, a lot of partnerships. We need landlords and property managers to provide units. Um, and a lot of our agencies still need staff. So we really need people who want to do some good work and make a difference in the community. Back on North Claiborne, Kimbo King says he's going to continue to lean on faith. He hopes to have permanent housing in the near future. In New Orleans, Parker Boyd, Fox 8, Local First. Coffin also says Unity of Greater New Orleans will have programs in January to enhance the process of housing homeless.